Hi art friends! Hello art friends! How are you doing today? Today we've got something very special. I think this might be the, the eldest. Hmm. I think this might be the oldest thing that we might ever actually show on the channel. Oh and really? It, it's pretty small. Now this is the golden textbook. And you might be like, why is this so special? Well, first of all, it's made of wood. So I'm really excited, let me touch it. Ooh. <laughs> Second of all, this is 200 years old. 200? This is at least 200 years old. I wonder if the subscribers are saying the same things that I am right now, because I am <laughs> genuinely made of shocked. Wood. What? <laughs> <laughs> so what's inside it? Let's have a look down here. It's like got random entries in, right? Oh, okay. And I was thinking that what we could do, because there's even random pages that are like written. See, there's one from 1856, Mrs. Pitt. <laughs> what we could try and do is pick a random page yeah. and try and draw something inspired by whatever's written on here. Oh, that's a cute idea. Is it written all in like Shakespeare language? <laughs> well, it looks, at first glance, it might be like a hymn book or something. Oh. Other than it being super old, which is why we got it. I don't really know much about it. And do you know what I'm gonna draw? No. I'm gonna draw a boy. Isn't it weird? It's really pretty. It's very, very pretty, I'm yeah. I'm scared, like, by flicking through it that I'm gonna, like, break it. Well, if you want, you can just, like, have a gentle flick through and be like, I'm gonna draw on this yeah, one. Yeah, I might just sort of open it at a random page. Okay. Okay. What do you got? Oh, it's all, like, little days of, like, the year as well. August. What is it? Is it a diary? I mean, guys, if you know anything about this book, feel free to let us know. I think it might be like a hymn or like a prayer or something for like every day of the year. Oh, that, now that would make sense because back in the day, that kind of stuff was a lot more common. Oh, and there's something about return or holy dove return. I could draw a dove. You could draw a bird, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well that sounds... Oh god, I've just thought, I've actually like said what I'm gonna draw and I haven't picked the thing yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'd have to draw like a bird man. <laughs> well, yours is pretty easy. Okay, you're gonna draw a bird. That's cool. You are really good at drawing birds. I'm kind of nervous to pick mine now. <laughs> what a cute little bug. I know, right? I, when I seen it, I was like, oh, I've got to share this with the people. It's fine. It's, yeah, it's, it literally says the golden textbook. But other than that, there's not really much else on it. So if you guys know anything about it, do let yeah, us know. Yeah, if you wrote this book, comment down below. <laughs> if you are 200 plus years old, <laughs> feel free to comment down below. Also send me a friend request. I want to see your face. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see your haggard old face. <laughs> I shouldn't have said what I was going to draw first. I might do what you did then. I'll like close my eyes or look away and then just open it. I feel like... Because I don't want to flick through the thing, because it's practically, yeah, no, cause it's it's practically it's... falling apart as it is. So, okay, so my eyes are closed. Let me get a feel. I'm going to go here. Okay. Okay. Oh, September. Oh. Yeah, August to September. My birthday's in September. Oh, our restless spirits yearn for thee. I could do a ghost. That sounds Ooh, cool. Oh, you could do a ghost man. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, yeah, sure. Okay, a ghost dude. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, I think I know what this is. You know, bah, 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 bah. you know how there's like just random names written on random days. Yeah. I think it was kept for people's birthdays. Whoever owned it. Oh, is it so that when you send them like a birthday card, you can just write like a yeah, <laughs> a so, custom him in it? <laughs> so on August twenty seventh, it was like Edward's birthday. Oh. Well, can't, can't forget Edward. Happy belated birthday, Edward. <laughs> so, egg, egg, eggies. It was the egg's birthday that day. It must have been like a diary slash calendar thing that has these verses in every day. Based on what's I think it's so cool that there's someone who's actually like handwritten in it. Alice and Harry Dyer, both born 1864. And <laughs> Joseph Dyer. 1864. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Comment down below if you were born in 1864. <laughs> Shout out to the 1864 fam. I think we have our inspiration now. Guys, if you want to see us to, if you want us to do another video on this and pick something random from it to draw, uh, give us a like, let us know, and we'll do another part. But for now, let's get into drawing these things. How's the sketch coming along, my little love dove? Oh, <laughs> are, are doves meant to be the same thing as like pigeons, or are there a specific Oof. 
type. Or... Well, if there's any bird experts, let us know. I mean, I've seen doves hang around with pigeons. Oh, oh, was it a white pigeon? I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. Are doves white pigeons? Are they an entire different species? Well, I think there's something we can all agree on. That is one cute little dove that you're working on. Because I was about to say, I've never drawn a, a dove before, but if it's a pigeon, then I have. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll colour it like how all the wedding people do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> White. <laughs> I like his little branch that he's like sat on. Yeah, I got to draw a, a bird recently and another doodled it as well. I like drawing You lucked out with that page. Out of all of those pages, you managed to get another bird one and you're so good at drawing birds. What have you done for yours? I haven't looked at yours. Well, like I said, I wanted to draw like a guy. So I was going to have like a guy and a son. And at the minute, it looks like he's choking him. Yeah. And then I was thinking, like, how did he die exactly? And if his hair's anything to go off, I'm going to say a haircutting accident. Oh, we get lots of comments about things like that. <laughs> what, about haircutting accidents? Yeah, in a really? video called Doodled It. Uh, I think it was in the blow pen video, if you remember that one. Yeah. I was talking about, like, bad hairstyles or something. <laughs> and we get... No kidding, we get comments like this big with huge paragraphs of people talking about hair oh, trauma. Well, that makes, I thought you meant people commenting saying that someone died at the hairdresser's not no. haircutting trauma. <laughs> it's like, oh yes, I know someone that died at the hairdresser's once. No, I, I think they just talk about like losing an ear or something. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to hear about all your ears, guys. <laughs> Sorry to hear about you being dismembered, but... Thanks for making me even more scared of hair. <laughs> Yeah, how do you think they would have died? I'm, uh, at the minute, I just have hair cutting. Um, from what I've... I, I don't know, this might be too graphic and real. Oh, okay. Maybe I should... <laughs> Let's get real for a moment. Maybe death from ear injury. That's the most subtle way <laughs> that, I can like, say What did you do to my son's ears? <laughs> yeah, he just doesn't have any. <laughs> I, could, I could leave them off, I guess. <laughs> I could draw him earless. <laughs> Maybe he could have, like, a hand on top here. He's got, like, his hand on his son's head. He's like, what have you done to my son's ears? She's like, Dad, I can't, I can't hear you anymore, Dad. With his big hands. <laughs> it looks like he's trying to choke him and crush his head. <laughs> oh, at no. Well, I might as well finish him off. No. Before he bleeds out. <laughs> I think he's just being protective of his head. <laughs> Where are my ears? Maybe he could have an ear right, but there is a piece missing. <laughs> That's more wholesome. <laughs> That's more wholesome. He's only slightly disfigured now. Now, he obviously needs to be a ghost, so I don't know whether to have him to have them like fading out. Like, he obviously, because then. <laughs> to give him like mermaid tails. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> you just need that little lobster man now. <laughs> what was his name? Was it Sebastian, the, the guy at the Little Mermaid? Uh, I think so. I just don't miss the lobster man, I'm afraid. <laughs> I need the lobster man. Is he available? <laughs> I'm going to erase that tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shame, it I really adds character. I don't think it belongs there. It's a ghost mermaid! I don't know what kind of shirt he could have. I don't even know what kind of time frame we're going for. Maybe just like a fantasy generic setting, maybe. Uh, I was going to say, like, mid-80s. Mid-80s. <laughs> oh, one minute I was listening to Van Halen, then I couldn't hear anything. My ears got cut off. There what was go. that band from the mid 80s? There was one were they called like Kiss or something and they used to have makeup on like that. Yeah, they were yeah, they yeah. were called Kiss, yeah. Yeah, so maybe he was just getting a trendy haircut and lost some ear. <laughs> My son lost his ear on the way to the Kiss concert. <laughs> That's such an 80s problem. <laughs> All he wanted was a really nice perm. I'm trying to think of what else happened in the 80s. <laughs> Jeez, there was 10 years. <laughs> I wasn't alive then. <laughs> I like A lot happened uh, in the 80s. Can you tell us all about the 80s? Adam experienced the 80s. He can well. tell us all about it. Well, I was born. <laughs> right. I don't remember too much. <laughs> but uh, there was. There was not a lot of internet, it's a lot of board games. <laughs> Uh... These these guys didn't make it to the nineties. They were already dead. <laughs> oh my god! How how am I gonna make them more ghost-like? Should I have them just like fading out? <laughs> like 
I've really got to get in here. Wow, you've really been quite brutal here. <laughs> well, they're already dead. They can't feel it anymore. <laughs> yeah, like, have them, like, oh my god, I'm really... <laughs> Suddenly his ear, or lack of ear, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. <laughs> Where's the rest of my body, daddy? Don't look down. Uh, I can't feel my legs. That's because you don't have any. Do you see what I'm trying to do? Like, even though I've, like, wrecked yeah, the Yeah, you're paper. trying to turn them into, like, fog people. <laughs> Oh, it's a ghost! It's a ghost! No worse, it's a fog person! <laughs> I think that's just another term for ghost. <laughs> the correct term is fog person. <laughs> if you want them to be a fog person, honey, then yes, they I'll give them like Popeye arms as well. <laughs> Maybe they died in a spinach related accident. Let's see. Let's <laughs> see. Are we inking that dove? Yeah. What's the dove's name, hun? No, I don't want it to have a name. It's a nameless dove. We'll call it Derek. Derek the Dove. Derek. Shout out to all the Derek the Doves out there. Derek, go and find me something, Derek. I've decided he's a dove that finds things. <laughs> I think you're thinking of magpies there. <laughs> Derek, you're a terrible magpie. You never bring me anything. <laughs> oh, he does have cute eyes though. Oh, at least you've got something going for you, Derek. And look at those chubby feet! Oh! These are meant to be like little berries that you can eat. Oh, so that's why he's hanging around. He also needs to just like sit down sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I just need to sit. <laughs> I think we've all been there. <laughs> you can't be flying around all day, every day. <laughs> so I've noticed that you're uh, covering something up over there. I've added a surprise. Would you like to see the <laughs> Oh surprise? boy, yeah! Okay. Oh, I love Derek surprises. <laughs> what, does it, what does it say? It, I'm a dove. No, you're Derek. <laughs> I think he's so cute, though. Look at that face. I'm proud of it. It's really cute. Have you yeah. added text on yours as well? Yes, I have. Would What's you like to read it? Okay. Is it surprising? Um, yes. Okay. He says, like, never cut my son's hair again. Oh yeah, because <laughs> the joke is he can't hear even though he's only lost the tip of his yeah. ear. <laughs> oh no! The cartilage! Everyone knows everything <laughs> important in the cartilage! Okay guys, here's what we managed to create using then this 200 year old buck. If you want to see another video using this, be sure to like so we know. Don't forget to subscribe so we can see you next time for another doodle date. And check out this mystery video on screen. I hear it's very good. That is a guinea pig. Do it! Bye for now guys! Bye bye!